shown a MacBook Air and your Wi-Fi or Bluetooth has gone out, the likely culprit is a faulty Wi-Fi card, which handles both the wireless and the Bluetooth. Fortunately, replacing it doesn't require a whole lot of effort, and it could save you from having to buy a whole new computer. Hi, I'm MJ with iFixit, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the Wi-Fi card in a late 2010 MacBook Air. If you own a 2011 version of this computer, the process is very similar. But of course, you're still going to want to follow the step-by-step -step instructions in the repair guide on our site when you're doing your repair. We'll even link to it down in the description to make it easy. Before I get started, I'm going to get all of my parts and tools together. For this repair, I'm going to need a plastic spudger, a T5 Torx driver, and a MacBook Air Penelope driver. Now, rather than using separate drivers, I'm just going to use our 54-piece bit driver kit because it has both the bits I'm going to need plus a ton more. I'm also going to use an anti-static wrist strap to protect my MacBook Air from any accidental electrostatic discharge during my repair and a screw tray because it keeps all those teeny tiny screws nice and organized. Now I've got all of my parts and tools together, I can get started by taking out the 10 penelope screws that are holding the bottom case in place. Now that I've got all of those screws out, I can begin to remove the lower case by grabbing it right between the display assembly and the lower case and rotating it towards the front of the computer. Now that the lower case is removed, the very first thing we're going to do is disconnect the battery. And really, that should be the first step in any electronics repair because we don't want any residual electricity floating around in there while we're doing our repair. To disconnect it, we're going to grab the little pull tab and pull it out parallel to the logic board. You don't want to pull up vertically because that'll break the connector. Now that the battery's disconnected, I can begin to remove the wireless card by disconnecting the two teeny tiny airport and Bluetooth cables with the help of my spudger. Okay, and now there's only one screw holding the wireless card in place, so I'll take care of that. Now that that screw is out, I can begin to remove the wireless card, which is pretty firmly held in place in its socket. I like to wiggle it left and right like I'm slowly walking it out of its socket. After that's disconnected, all I have to do is install my new wireless card and reassemble my computer. Of course, you can find all of the parts and tools used for this and many other repairs at ifixit.com. And if you run into any problems during your repairs, there are lots of solutions in the MacBook Air Repair Guide on our site. If you want to stay up to date with all of the latest teardowns and repair videos, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Twitter at ifixit, or like us on Facebook. Thanks for watching and happy repairing!